Hey guys, thank you for clicking. You know what time it is. It's Wednesday. And to all my new subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you've not subscribed, hit the subscribe button so you can see more of me. So without further ado, this video is my, um, what do I call it, 16 things I wish I knew when I was 16. Yeah, but I'm not going to say the whole 16 things here because if I did, <laughs> this video will be forever. So it's going to be eight things here and then the other half I would talk about the other eight. So the first thing I want to talk about, and it's not in any particular order, the first thing I definitely want to talk about is it's okay to worry. Now I notice a lot of times people feel, oh why you, you know, when you're 16 you don't want to worry about things, you just want to be carefree. You need to worry about stuff. You need to, you need, not, not worry like getting, you know, anxiety and, and oh, just have that anxiety problem and then be so scared, but worry a little bit because one of the things I noticed when I was 16 is I got carried away. Like, I could carefree, I could, I was, I mean, careless, I was really carefree about things and at some time, I mean, at some point, I thank God for my grandmother. She always like gave me that reality check, that reality check. And I always had to like worry and be like, okay, you know, I want to do this right. So worry. Don't just go life and just be, oh, I'm 16. I'm young. I'm white. I'm free. Yes, you are actually young and maybe white if you want to be, but worry about life. Think about your grades. Think about your attitude to people think worry about the things you're planning to do worry about what you really want to do with your future i think that's even more important don't just feel like the day's going to unfold like like it always does because it really doesn't you know um things get different times change and you got to go with the program so worry so the second thing i definitely want to say is um when i was 16 i mean like being younger i always used to find it hard to cry because i feel like if I cried about you or like you hurt me and I cried, oh my God, like I'm literally, if I'm ever going to think about it, I'm literally going to start not loving you. I mean, I'm going to fall out of love for you or I'm just going to hit you, something like that. And if I did, then it really hurt me. But it's okay to cry. It's okay to cry sometimes. I For me now, I see like, it's like the way you relieve all that stress, you know, and all that pent up anger or thinking, it's okay to cry. And when you're 16, um, things are really not going to go the way you want. And frankly speaking, you don't even know the right way. So you're going to say ways that your mom's not going to want, or your dad's not going to want. And you're not going to want to cry. You want to give them a show like I could do this and be rude. No, if they're not giving you what you want, if you feel so sad, it's okay to cry about it. You know, it makes you even reflect on it a little bit. And it, it puts you in a sober state. So, yeah. And another thing that comes with crying, which is the third point I want to say is, drop the victim card now this was something that i never used to do but i had slip siblings and one of them used to always put up the the what's it called uh, the victim card and it, i just found it really really weird you know and i think for me that really helped me so this is what i want to say for you out there who's 16 stop the victim card it is it is it is unnecessary and you're going to grow out of it and you're going to be a mom tomorrow or whatever you're gonna you're gonna get older you're gonna be an adult so the victim card never makes you successful it never makes you really reflect reflect on life it never makes you really plan drop the victim card it's the cheapest easiest thing you know if 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 you if you if it's even a bad thing if you feel like someone's treating you not nicely evaluate the way you're acting or if you just can't help it then avoid them and if you can't avoid them then just manage them everything comes with a season they're not going to be in your life forever but putting up the victim card i'm saying oh i didn't get this grades because this person was doing that it, it's it doesn't make any sense or oh i'm like this because my dad was doing that it's a lie because honestly when you get older you can think and at 16 you can think you can tell yourself this is bad or this is good and you can read up about it there's google now there's information so you know this stuff so if you're choosing to do it it's like you're bringing up the victim card drop it it's like i hate it i hate it it's like the most um for me it's the it's the one thing that could delay you in your future and so it brings me to the fourth point which not everybody's against you now I was the, um, I wouldn't say stubborn, maybe stubborn. Okay, I'm stubborn. <laughs> but um, I was that kind of child who I always wanted to give my own point. And if if you weren't listening, I felt like you were against me. And sometimes I even felt like my mom was against me. And if she really wasn't, she was just um, being the best she could be as a mother. And she was just caring. And I just felt like people were against me. They weren't listening to me. Especially if I was telling on someone like, like I felt in a particular way about someone. And I was saying I didn't like this person's attitude. And then they were against me. Like, it's you who has the bad problem. Blah, 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 blah. 
you know sometimes it's politics at that age you're 16 you don't get politics but now that I'm older I get politics there's some people you see you just you just smile about them and if 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 you if your mom and your kid come tell you something mean about them just because it's right not to um it's the right thing not to push your child to be um, um rude you probably just find a political right thing to say about them you know something politically correct and I think that's what my mom was doing then, but I just felt she was against me. But really, nobody's against you, especially your loved ones, actually. Let me put it like that, especially your loved ones. They're not against you. And for your teachers, maybe they are, but majority of the times, they're just trying to bring out the best in you, the ability that you have. So drop the people are against me thing. Because when you're even 16, you're mostly around people who really know you or family, not like you're you're an adult to be in the, you know, in the world alone and be with total strangers now, so... I bet you, like, if you had 100 people around you, 80% of them really don't wish you bad. I mean, you're always going to see someone who's outside that, but the majority carries the vote. So people are not against you. They might not support your ideas. They might not support what you want to do, but it doesn't mean they're against you. They're just processing it in a different way. That's just what it is. The other thing I would like to say, which brings me to my fifth point, is... Um, Growing up, when I was 16, there were like different people. There were people who would say good things to my ears. And there were people who were so big and just, you know, pushing down negative stuff into my mind. And and what I would say to myself now if I was 16 was, filter this. I mean, even at 16, you can identify when someone's like um, not being nice with their words when they're talking to you or when they're being really nice. And you can feel to them like like growing up I had like this major person who was like a relative and I said and that person was a bully and oh my god this individual will say everything mean about you like literally curse you and if you come from Africa you understand what I'm saying like when someone's older than you you can't disrespect them you can't even say any you could even be saying something that is not disrespectful and they say you're disrespecting me you've insulted me you <laughs> know it's like the norm for them so growing up I had that kind of environment and there were sometimes people you know use words that really hurt me and i couldn't do anything but filter 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 your words you're going to surround yourself with people like that if you're from africa you're going to have relatives or even friends who are going to say mean things to you learn to filter your words take the ones that are good and work with them and when you do that when you take the good ones that's when you don't bring the victim card take the ones that are good work with them and the ones that are bad just throw it out always always i mean like make it a daily process because you're 16 you're still young it's so easy for you to be gullible so if you consciously make that effort to filter then you would definitely scrap out all the wrong words or wrong things and then the sixth point which is your feelings are valid now you might feel a particular way about someone or something and just because of like i said politics or whatever they're gonna make you feel like it's not valid it is valid it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that you have to bring up a drama about it but i just want you to know that in your mind your feelings are valid because i think you know what's right and wrong so how you feel about something is valid don't let anyone tell you anything less and if they do because they have the power to based on culture or wherever you are you can just let them in your mind you know better growing up for me I could feel a particular way about an individual and it's always had to be someone older than me because of all the norms in Africa and it was never valid no matter what I said even if I had proof about this person being extraordinary mean it was never valid you know but in me I knew it was I I knew that this was who this person is right about now I understand that it wasn't like they were against me or the way I felt about this person wasn't valid it was because of politics or culture a whole lot of stuff that just really really annoys you seven point i want to share is i wish i knew at 16 was to learn to spend time with myself now this is something that i really didn't do that much but it's okay if you're doing it i think it's good to to spend time with yourself when you're at that age because you're still learning and that's basically maybe the time you could filter out the wrong words or you can evaluate what you're doing with your life or worry about what you're not doing right about the you know your future when i say worry i mean like your future not worry about silly things you know <laughs> yeah like what color shoe should i wear to school or something no i mean worry about your future so my seventh point would definitely be spending time alone with myself and this is really good because you get to know yourself better you get to evaluate the way you feel about certain things and you get to discover yourself better because there's nothing wrong with that. It's not a psycho thing. I mean, sometimes I used to think when you spend time alone, you 
it's weird but honestly if I could go back to being 16 I would spend time with myself alone it wouldn't be all the time but I would because it would help me to um, you know filter people's attitude when they're around me or around another person and maybe understand why people act in certain ways that just freak me out because I never get them and I think because I never had my alone time to reflect that much I didn't get it and maybe you could even use this time to reflect on your creator which is something I definitely didn't do and I wish I did this is why I wish I could go back at that age but I'm grateful you know God is merciful so yeah I'm happy about that so moving on to the final and the last point which is definitely a big one it's still something that a lot of people struggle with but I think at 16 a lot of people don't talk about it but I really want you to know that it, it's okay it I mean it's okay and that is depression now I'm not saying it's okay to get depressed but don't think like you're like the weirdest person or like oh you're really mad or like Oh, something is really wrong with you 30 40 50 60 depression happens to a lot of people so it happens don't let what people say stick in you filter them because when you don't do this stuff you might feed depression a lot so I wish when I was 16 I knew that depression was real and that it could happen and it doesn't mean I have to remain there, you know, like just settle there and die. It just means that I'm human and I'm and and, and I'm passing through that season. It's never gonna be permanent. You're gonna go through it and I'm gonna come out of it. So yeah. Just stick around people who really love you, which which is what you should do when you're reflecting. You will find out the right people. So when you're feeling depressed or you're depressed, stick around people who love you and seek help if it's really bad and be open about it. Don't be depressed and just sit down and be quiet and take drugs. I, I wasn't that extreme. I I wasn't, but I think I had times where I was really sad and yeah, so it might be that I was depressed and I didn't even identify it and a lot of people might be like that and then they kill themselves. But when you feel like the desire and the will to live doesn't, isn't isn't high and the desire to not exist is higher that's depression really and it basically happens from a whole lot of stuff maybe you can't buy the pretty things or you're broke or a whole lot of stuff can can cause that or words people say to you so seek help um have a good prayer life um talk about it and talk about it to the right people don't just talk about it to anybody because not everybody is, is is interested some people might even just you know worse than the case for you so talk about it to the right people and it's okay you're 16 you're growing and trust me even people are 40 50 60 still get depressed doesn't mean it's right but it just means that it's life so yeah there you have it this is like eight things I want to talk about and the other half I would be showing in my next video which will be I think my next month pop-up video or the month or I don't know but anyways guys if you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram inspired by Vaughn till I see you guys next week Wednesday I love you I love you I love you I love you but God loves you best bye for now cheers